<laughs> we're on. Oh, hi guys. Hey, how you doing? Um, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome back. back. No, well, we welcome us back. Well, welcome back, baby. Welcome back, baby. Thanks, baby. It's been a long time. It, it's been a long and time. It's all you know whose fault, guys. Trey, it is my fault. Yeah, yes. Go ahead and tell him and you know apologize. Uh, it, it's not much to say. I'm not going to apologize. It's just been a long time and we've been busy. But you and... owe them an apology. Why? Because they're our faithful viewers. That's why. But should I and apologize for life, for living? No, you just apologize right. for not. Killing. My bad, y'all. I'm sorry. It's been me. I've been holding the team back. Yes. Every time my baby say, let's film, let's tape, I go, maybe next week. Yes. And maybe tomorrow. Yes. That's Something. all true. Yeah. See, viewers, you guys should love me more because I'm always ready. Mm. Because you guys are always saying, when am I going to see the next episode? She's not always ready. I, I am. And I was like, baby, we need to get a film. We need to tape. We need to tape. Trey was like, okay, baby. Next thing you know, both are yawning and we go to bed. Both. Did you hear that? However, I Both. said we need to tape. We need to tape. Trey, we don't tape. We don't. And um, we're taping tonight because of me. Uh, oh, you liar. <laughs> I'm kidding. Because it, of me. It's my baby. But yeah, I'm sorry. Okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. But welcome. Welcome back to Trey and Tonya's Lavology, Season 4, Episode 3. Oh, wow. It's been a long time, guys. We're so sorry. Yeah. Um, it's been a lot going on. You know, the wedding... First priority, my baby's been busting her tail, busting her tail, getting everything together. We also had, we gosh, leave. Leave. we leave next Thursday, Thursday coming up. morning, the 21st of June. June. Yes, I got it. I'm be on that plane. I'm just flying to Hawaii. Just going to be ready to be on the plane. I know. We're gone, heading to Hawaii, getting married on the 23rd. Um, going to stay there for a while, you know, and enjoy each other and be a happy couple, honeymooning, sun in our head and face. And, and I'm going to run down the beach so Trey can chase me like Bo Derek, like that. And we're going to fall. Motion. And I'm probably going to fall and we're going to have sand in our butt cheeks and stuff, but probably, it's okay. But it's okay. We're going to have a great time. We are. We're going to have a blast. I'm excited. Wow. My wedding dress is so pretty, guys. Unfortunately, because our wedding is June 23rd and our reception is August the 11th, I will not be able to post any pictures of us for the wedding portion mm. because the reception folk will see them first. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like a presentation for the reception people and then we go into the reception. Right. So right. we can't post any wedding gown pictures, no, any no. wedding pictures on Facebook no. until after August 11th. Yes, after. So if you're one of these people that's invited to the wedding, you'll get to see it yes. up close in person. Yes. But those that are not um, you'll get to see the pictures after August 11th. We will definitely post a lot of pictures for our viewers to see. That is correct. Um, so there'll be no Facebook and no we'll, Instagram. You'll see Hawaii pictures, but there will not be any no wedding, wedding, no wedding pictures. Um, man, this cider is Oh, really I have, good. I have announcement to make. To all the viewers that send Trey and I inboxes about please call me. Can't do it. We love you guys to pieces, but we cannot call our viewers. That that's just too much. That's I why we call my friends. That's you. I don't call anybody. I talk very little on the phone, and, mm -hmm. and we really do like to respond to your questions. But we can't go in like calling you and you calling us and asking us for our phone number. We can't do that. No, we can't. So that that's pretty much over the limits for us. Right. This is how we connect to our viewers, and you send us inbox questions, and we respond, and we put it out here on the on the YouTube for you, so people can listen and hear right. our responses about your questions. But please, guys, don't ask us to call you because we can't call anybody. And we, we have really got, can't. We have received a lot of people saying, please give me a call. I want to discuss my issue further. And we can't do that. Right. It's um, just not fair to everyone. And we've said yeah. no to people yeah. previously. so <laughs> We're not being rude or mean, but we're just not going to call anybody. Right. So, And another thing, because I did receive an inbox, and this was a very good story. However, it was a book. And it's too long to read <clears throat> on, our, um, on our episodes. Because we'll probably put you guys to sleep reading it. But they are interesting, but we just can't read a book. So we need to ask you all to please try to Summarize. keep your questions down to at least one good paragraph. Or at least a little over that, but not a book. Please. Summer grass. Because Summer grass. Summer, oh, Summer grass. This is Trey's first cocktail. 
And he's already listing not, up his words. We have been pre celebrate because we're going to Hawaii. Listen so here. It's okay. You can drink. I'm not drinking. old enough. I'm having sorrow. However, guys, please don't send books because we can't read the books. We can read a paragraph or maybe even two, but we can't read a book. So if you have sent us a question and it's, if we didn't read it, it's probably because it was a bit too long. And please send it again and just summarize and make it smaller. Okay? Anything else before we start with a couple shout outs and going to the questions? We had our bachelor party and bachelor oh, parties. Oh, yeah, we did last weekend. Yeah. Yes. We and did. we had a blast. We had a great time. I was so overly time. tipsy. I don't she get was. drunk, but I was overly tipsy. She was. She crashed my bash. And I crashed. And the I loved this bachelor party. I did. I had me and time. all my girls crashed. Yes. They took me. I didn't. I didn't even suggest it. They took me mm-hmm. to crash Trey's party, mm-hmm. and my baby was smiling when I walked I in. I but was. we didn't stay long. But we did crash it yeah. just to make it fun for the guys, and they had a ball. I had a great time seeing her. I was. I was excited. I was. My baby wanted a co-ed party, but I knew his guys wanted to, you know, have him to themselves for a little bit and let him have some fun. So that's why I kind of pushed it for us to have separate parties. But if it was up the tray, it would have been a co-ed bachelor and bachelorette party. All day, all night. Yes. I like being around my baby. Who don't? You're right. I do. I love being around my baby. When you stop liking to be around your partner, your husband, your wife, or your mate, Something's wrong. Something's a problem. I don't like my baby to be gone too long because I tell Trey, if you be gone too long, I'm going to break out in hives. I'm going to get sick. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to get a headache. I'm going to get a fever. So She but does. He, yeah, I do say that. I called 911 a couple of times. No, you did not. <laughs> no, you did not. I'm just saying. But really, we don't like to be away from each other. I love every minute with my baby. Got to enjoy the time with each other, man. Yes, right. Life is too short, and we don't okay. know when the Lord is going to call us, one of us home. So I try to get all of my time. Right. Right, baby. Yes. High five. That's right. Oof. Sorry, I must belch on my baby. It's okay. I'm trying to think what else has been going on. What else? What else? Um, Brie graduated. Oh, yeah. Our heading oldest off graduated. To heading off to college in the fall, so mm-hmm. we're excited. So it's like we really did have a lot going it's on. High hot. school graduation, planning the wedding, planning the, the reception, for me. end of the school year mm-hmm. for Trey. Oh, God. Really? Oh, it's really been a lot. It's yeah. really, it really has been a lot. Yeah. So please forgive us, but we're back. And this will be the last um, viewing of us before we go off to our wedding. So mm-hmm. next time you see us, we'll on be... here would be Mr. and Mrs. Gooden. Yes, that's E G double O D E N, my last name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my baby. My last name. Yeah, I told her shit gonna change around here. No, it's, it's gonna not. change around here. I'm still here. spoiled. None she of that's is. gonna change. She's rotten, man. I'm I telling am. you, man. And Listen. you love spoiling me, so it's okay. It's all good. I love it. I wouldn't be with you if I didn't like it, right? That's right. Okay. But anyway, as always, you guys have been really great. Keeping the love, checking in on us. When are we coming back? We're back. You know, we're back. And, and please send your questions in to Trey and Tanya Love, Trey Tanya Love all is on Facebook. Facebook inbox or YouTube, or YouTube. inbox. Absolutely. But don't send it to our separates because sometimes we just don't get to them. Yeah. Like today I was looking around for one and I thought it was in my personal, but it ended up being somewhere else. So that kind of messes up messes us up a little bit. And we, do, we do want to respond to your questions because you do send them in and we love mm-hmm. that and I enjoy responding. But please make sure to go to one inbox, which is Trey Tanya Loveology on Facebook. Or YouTube. Or YouTube. Absolutely. And please, 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 when you view our segments, view it on YouTube. Yeah. Okay? Go to YouTube. Watch it on there. Because we love to see how many people view our, our segments and um, we're doing great. I mean, we're averaging almost eight to nine hundred views for our, our our segment. So that's wonderful. We appreciate the support. That's true. And we want it to keep growing. And I love how each of you are telling your friends about us because every day we're getting like four to five, sometimes six, seven, eight subscribers per day, which is a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. And one more thing I like before we read our shouts. I love that a lot of new viewers go back and look at all of our old episodes mm. from the very first one. Yes. Almost two years ago, right? Right, right. Almost two years ago, December, people go back and they say they're still looking at all the old videos trying to catch up. Which That's wonderful. That is great. It's beautiful. We truly you. appreciate that love. I, we really, really do. Thank right. you guys so yeah. much. It's so send day. in your questions. And when we come back from Hawaii and get settled, we'll be, we promise that we will respond sooner than later. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so wow. we got a couple shouts. Is it a couple or one shout? Because I didn't put that much up there. I don't know, babe. It's about two. 
Oh, not really sure. I think I, I probably think that's deleted one. one. And a question, you probably deleted one. I probably did. I'm so sorry, but we've had a lot of shouts. I think it's two. Here we go, right here. Bam, okay. bam, bam, so, bam. You want to read it? Skitty bam. Okay, yes. And my baby entitled it "Shout Out from the Viewer." Um, hey Trey and Tonya, this is Craig's from Baltimore once again. Well, I listened to what you guys said in episode two and four. I brought my soft dom stud girlfriend around my son for the first time last Saturday and they hit it off right away. My girlfriend is great with him and he's loving her to pieces. Got me feeling some kind of way because he wants her more than me. LOL. But for real, thank you guys because it took a lot for me to do this and I'm happy and my relationship is stronger because of this. That's wonderful. That's good. Absolutely so wonderful. Was something Baltimore. we said helped Baltimore out, which we really love. That's Absolutely. Good. Oh, we got to ask this quick question before we go into um, our questions. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, viewers, we want you guys to send us inbox messages, or you can even put it on our page. What do you guys think about us doing a Trey Tony Lovology dating type show right. for you guys? And you guys will have to send us pictures in, a small bio of yourself, and what type of guy, girl, male, female, whatever you're looking for. Give us a description of what you like, what you want, and we'll kind of cross-match and put you guys together. And we'll put your pictures together so people can see you guys, but you guys are going to have to connect if we if y'all approve. Right. Then we'll pretty much go forward like that. So, mm -hmm. so a lot of people try to tell us to hook them up. Like, what it can it meet somebody middle aged, 30s, 40s, not these young kids? Mm -hmm. You know, they're looking for love in all the wrong places. Can mm -hmm. we help them out? So, what if we do a Trey Tanya Lavology dating show and we hook y'all up? Let us know what you think. That'd be fun. Forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we've gotten that a lot. Too, a lot. So we want to hook some people up because I love for people to have true love and real love. True. And love like this don't come easy. So it's like it's out there for you. You just have to be patient and the right one comes along. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I do. I love love and I love, I want everybody to be in love like this and be happy. Mm -hmm. I do. You're looking for love and all uh -uh. the wrong places. No, okay. Anyway, going back out to our viewers, shouts. Um, hello, Trey and Tonya. I love watching I your shows. No, really? It's not? I don't know. No, okay. All right. Just read. Um, I love watching your shows and hearing all the feedback that you give to your audience. On many occasions, the information has helped me to this day, so that is why I'm asking for your suggestion. I would like to be anonymous. Oh, that's my DJ name, okay. DJ Anonymous. So this is probably just going to segue right into so our first questions. question. Okay. Okay. I just would like your opinion about changing my engagement ring. I was given a promise ring that is supposed to be my engagement ring. The size of the ring was too small for my hands. I am a plus size woman. Hey, would I be wrong for <laughs> what, baby? Go, it's a big girl. Read. Would I be wrong? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Just read. Would I be wrong for changing the ring to something with more substance and fits my hands? Fits my hands. Hands more than one. She's gonna get more than one ring. No, baby. She, she just hands. won't change the ring so it fits her hands. Oh, okay. And I understand where she's coming from because some people that has really small hands can, you know, take a small ring and it looks a nice size. And people that have really big hands need a bigger hand, ring and band so the ring looks bigger on their hands. So I know exactly where she's coming from. Mm. And it has nothing to do with plus size. <clears throat> it has something to do with your hands. And big or small hands makes a difference in your ring. Um, what I will suggest is. <clears throat> you say I was given a promise ring that is supposed to be my engagement ring. That's not really good clarification from your girl to you. If that's a promise ring, is it a promise or is it an engagement? Mm -hmm. Cause if it's a promise ring, small, I can see why, but if it's an engagement ring, it should be something that she know you like. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't suggest you buy your own ring. I would suggest you talk to your partner that bought you the promise ring and ask her, was this supposed to be my engagement ring? And if so, would you mind upgrading it? Right? And she can even upgrade it for Christmas. That's the next holiday that's coming up, I think. If your birthday's coming up, she can upgrade it for your birthday. But I wouldn't I wouldn't do it myself. I wouldn't upgrade my ring myself. If she bought that ring for you and it's supposed to be a promise ring, leave it at that. But if it's an engagement ring, you guys should have went looking together. She should know your the type of ring you like. Because I went with my baby and I showed him all kind of rings that I like. She, because if Trey would have came back here with a little small, thin band, I would have looked at Trey like Trey was crazy. She would have. So I went shopping with my baby and pretty much said, I need a wide band. I would need, whatever kind of ring you get, I want a wide band. So I just think you need to have a, have that conversation with her. Now, that was her wedding bad. ring. I picked out the engagement ring myself. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Now, 
I don't think she wants an upgrade, baby. I think the ring is just too tiny for her. That's an upgrade. Plus size. Hmm? That's an upgrade. Really? She's saying the ring is small. The rock is small or yeah, the ring? I don't know. She didn't say nothing about her rock. But I'm assuming that the, if the ring is small, she's probably saying the stone in it is small, too. Young lady. But I just think she should have a conversation with the, with the um, partner. Definitely don't buy your own ring. But don't buy your own no, ring. If it's an engagement cool. ring, you just need to tell her, let's go ring shopping so you can see the kind of rings I like. And you shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt her feelings because if she's going to spend the rest of her life with you and want to marry you, she needs to understand your taste. <laughs> exactly, because I had to get my baby to understand my taste, and it's very expensive. But anyway, Fred, Fred next knows my taste question. Now. Next question. Okay, this question is called Fighting for Love. I totally love you all. Okay, I have a question. I'm a single fam, and I'm talking to someone right now. Well, I was. And she is very sweet, and I really like her, but there is one little problem. Her ex, she comes around like they are still together. This wouldn't bother me if she had a real reason to come around, like children that they both are raising, but they don't. And the woman I'm talking to says she's trying to move so the girl won't know where she lives and everything. I know this is a lot, but I'm trying to give you all the info. For example, me and her went to dinner, and we're having a good time, and this girl kept blowing up her phone. Okay, that was strike one. Then we left and went to the movies, and the girl keeps calling. Strike two. Well, we decided to go back to her place because it, it was closer, and this girl is sitting outside her house saying, Who the hell is she, and why you bring her here, referring to me? Well, I told the lady I was, I was, I was with to drop me home, and I haven't really talked to her since. Was I wrong, or should I just keep it moving? Wow. I'm going to let you go first. Yes, I would like to go first on this. Um, the person that you are dating... Mm -hmm. has no boundaries and obviously is my baby just used this today dangling this other girl dangling slow carrot low stud carrot in front of her and um, for this young lady to refer to you in the manner that she did obviously had no clue about who you are not that she should but um, this person that you're you're with right now needs to set her straight. The first time she called, she should have answered and told her, I am on a date. Please do not disturb me. Okay. And if they have nothing to discuss, have you heard about this ex before? Did Were you told that they're friends? I mean, what? where is her position in this person's life that you're dating? Okay. Your friend should have set that straight. You shouldn't have gone anywhere. You were close. You was probably going in for a nightcap. Uh-huh. But, you know, you shouldn't have gone anyway because that's giving power over to that little old stalker. What do you think, babe? Well, um, first of all, if her ex is still blowing up her phone, coming around, popping up at her house, they're, probably still doing they're it. still dating. Or, or not dating. There's, still, there's something still going on because if she really <laughs> is done, it, it would be none of that. Right. Now, if it was stalker-ish type things Cause that and the girl telling you every time something happened then that's the difference because I've had a stalker so I actually know what stalkers do mm. and how they act but this don't she seem, just me this don't seem stalkerish this seem like they still have something undercover going on and the girl don't want to completely let her go so I think she's kind of holding you on you know you might be her plaything because she's not over this person that keep coming around mm. you said what well, you said the strike one when the girl called when the girl at dinner, called, she kept blowing up her phone. At dinner, y'all went to the, the movies. movies yeah, I mean that's too much. That. I mean, first of all, she's disrespecting you, even if y'all just dating. Because my thing is, if you're dating other people and your ex is blowing you up, blowing you up, blowing you up, that means you haven't told your ex you're seeing other people, mm -hmm. or she needs to respect your bound her boundaries and her space. Um, if, but if, some ex are crazy, baby. That's true. But some at least, if, at least, if this person knows that she's dating, she wouldn't have to. She wouldn't have to even send us this question. If she talked to her and have a good conversation, like I'm gonna let you know, I have an ex. She crazy. She talk. She call all the time. She blow up my phone. She pop up at my house. Then this person will understand. Okay, well I know how to deal with this. But if you don't tell this person, you know this is what's going on, and she just happened to keep seeing all this stuff, then she's like, okay, what the hell is really going on? Are y'all still dating? Y'all still screwing what? So it's like you're left out in the blind. Whoever sent this question in, and you're the one left out in the blind, and. For you going home, you did the right thing. I would have left. I wouldn't sit around and, and deal with no nonsense like that either. I just wouldn't. And especially if I feel like I'm being disrespected. Well, and the only reason why she was being disrespected is because the stud did not do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a conversation with that person, not the crazy ex. That's Let true. her sit out on the steps. She might have been chilly. Let her stay out there. 
you have a conversation with that stud, then you make a decision to leave. You know what I'm saying? Had you spoken to the stud, or I'm, I hate to saying the stud, the person that you're dating, and they still did not rectify the situation and check the person on the steps, then you could have said, okay, bring me home. You know what I'm saying? But for you just to up and go, you never gave the person that you went out on a date with the chance to even handle the situation. Evidently, she didn't handle it if the person kept blowing her up, babe. Well, okay, mm -hmm. this is this is the catch-22. She's out on a date with this new girl. Mm -hmm. The person is calling. She pick up the phone and say, hello. You know what? Why are you answering the phone? That's that dinner. You go to the movies, the person is still calling. You answer the phone. I thought we was on a date. Why are you answering? So it's like a catch-22. Do I answer it or do I not? Obviously, the girl told her who it was, so that was a good thing. But Paul's right there <clears throat> because she says she comes around like they're still together. This 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 haven't happened once. Yeah, yeah. This like this happens repeatedly when this girl is with her. Well, so she's not checking the ex, and the ex gonna keep doing it, and she gonna get to a point where you know I can't I can't deal with some get tired of this. And when you finish playing games with your, with your ex, then call me. Don't call me because I'm not gonna be there. It was I may not be there, but if she's still single, she might want to still talk to her. I don't know, man. I don't know. If she playing games now. But you, if she playing games, she I mean, it's wasting your time. Games. But she probably end up back with the ex. Keep playing games. And she probably think it's cute that the ex is doing that. So, yeah. Be careful with that. Stalker stuff is not cute. Yeah. All right. We're going to blow past this question. And so fast that you might not even hear it. <laughs> why does Tonya call? Why do Tonya continue to refer to me oh, as he? Oh, God. Because people. I don't have a problem with it. I look like a boy. I know I'm a woman. I'm okay with, with being a woman. But I have Tell no problem with my baby calling me he. <clears throat> it's a pronoun that I answer to no matter where I go. Understand? Nothing else to be said. No, I don't have a wee wee. Don't want one. Still got all my girly parts. I love them. She love them. Ain't nothing changing. But look at the face. I'm Come on, man. I look more like a man than most men out there. So that's why she called me a he. And it's rest. You done, baby? I'm done, man. So I'm, so, I'm, man I'm so tired of this question. Yeah, we've had, that yeah. we had that question several times since we've been taken. I'm but normally it, let it you can be from a new it, viewer, and it's okay. But we'll catch up on the other but segments. But just get used to it. And I'm going to give one little prime example before we go on. I say this as if this was a drag queen sitting on my couch. If this drag queen sitting on my couch and have long hair like mine, boobs like mine, Makeup done like mine. To me, he is a she. I don't care. I don't care because I'm looking at the outer appearance. So I'm going to respect this drag queen and call her she. I wouldn't dare call this drag queen he when that's what she's giving me, a she look. Mm -hmm. So Trey gives me a manly look, and that's why I just say he. I know Trey's a woman. That's what I'm marrying a woman because if I wanted a man, I would be a heterosexual woman. I wouldn't be with a lesbian. Right. So don't get it twisted that I say he. That's just my preference and it happens a lot down south. It's not gonna change. Up north man. they say she or dumb or whatever you got aggressive. That's your but that's your choice. But in, in my in my home, in my surroundings, I call all studs that give me the manly look he not just Trey. So it's a lot of studs that I say he and it's a lot of them I call brother and I know they're women, but it's what they give me. Right. Okay. So, okay. Not, that's it. Don't touch that again. Okay, um, let's see where we're going to go down here. Um, there was one person who asked a question about what they should do as far as how they should get started with um, <clears throat> entering the educational field. And um, they were saying that their dream is to work with children, whether it's elementary school or in a daycare. And they would, you know, they think they really screw up in high school with the books department. I want to know since I have to start all over. Where should I start? I have my high school diploma. And um, they've taken some core classes in college, but not they don't have an actual degree. And they're 24, which is pretty young, and a stud. Is it too late to achieve my dreams? How do I start? It's not too late. I didn't become a teacher until I was 30. Hold on, am I? 38? Mm -hmm. I was 31 when I started teaching. Um, this, this is not my first career. Um, I've always looked like this. Going you into the go school, um, you, you can be comfortable, but you don't want to go overboard. You don't want to go in there with the saggy jeans. You don't want to go over there, you, you know, with the cornrows. You, you have to give a professional look. Even though I look masculine, I look neat when I go to work. I don't I don't play about it. OK, especially when I went for my interview, you know, have your portfolio together. No, it's not too late. You're still young. Go ahead and um. Get your certificate, your teaching certificate, and your, your bachelor's degree in education, whether it's elementary or high school or, you know, middle. And I, I would never tell someone it's too late to achieve their yeah, dreams. It's never too late. The first thing to do is to get, get your, your degree. Get your teaching. degree. 
get yeah. your degree. Yes, sir. And yes. as you're getting your degree, you can always sub because you have your high school diploma. So that's one way to get into the school systems is to become a sub. You don't get paid a lot, but it gives you that exposure. Okay? So hopefully that helps you. If you have any other questions, just I'm sending another email. All right, baby. I'm going to take this one. This is one. Okay. Yeah. Let me see the bottom. Where does it end at? Yeah. It's not a book. Just right there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You guys, my voice is a little cracked up, but it's okay. Ooh, did she you say know crack? how it... <laughs> Okay, it says, Hey, Tanya, I want to first start by saying I love the show. I have taken things from your show and have applied them to various aspects of my relationship. Excuse me, y'all. That's a good thing. I, I'm having some issues, though. Is that my cheeks? No. I'm in a relationship. I love my partner dearly. However, there are things that are occurring that are causing me to reevaluate our relationship. She makes decisions in my absence, and she tends to not make the wisest decision, and that scares me. I try to be efficient and organized in all that I do. She is the opposite. She doesn't know how to tell people no. She continues to place things in my lap and expect me to just be okay. I have a 13-year-old son, and I'm very instrumental in his life. She has a 9-year-old daughter and barely makes and barely makes for her. I don't know what that means. She puts her okay. I get it. She puts her off on, on everyone else. We have been together for a year <clears throat> and half, a year and a half, and I'm beginning to question: Is this person I want by my? Is this the person I want by my side? I know she loves me, however, it has to be more than that with me. Now she is in an unstable living situation, and her eldest daughter, she has three biological and nine-year-old, and the nine-year-old is adopted, has dropped her son off to, to her to raise. I'm like you. Don't have the patience for little ones because I'm raising my own. I am stable and drama-free and raising my son, but every time I turn around, I'm having to deal with something on her end. It's been like that from day one, starting with the hurt, insecure ex. I'm to the point where it's aggravating me to no end. Am I being selfish and self-centered because that's what she called me? Thank you for taking the time to listen. Keep up the good work. Okay, go I don't know what to go. I missed some of it, baby. I was listening when I was in the kitchen wiping down the counter. <laughs> what? Dude, you should have been listening. Man. That's why I tried to pick my voice up when you walked away. I was listening. I heard 13-year-old, those kind of things going on. Okay, well, while you read that, let me go ahead and respond. Okay, okay hit that. Woo! It's always, we, we do get a lot of questions about, you know, couples trying to come together with, you know, bringing children into the relationship. And I hear that you have a 13-year-old son, which you are very instrumental in your son's life. And she has a 9-year-old daughter, which I think you said is an adopted one, and three biological so it sounds like she has a lot going on, and she's ha she's not stable. Mm. That's where it's, that's where I'm gonna start it. It sounds like she has no stability, but you're very secure and you're very you know prominent in your child's life. And she you say she don't make the wise decisions, but you do. So you guys are total opposite. I guess you have to kind of take this with baby steps when you come into a relationship with people with children, and you have one as well because it's almost like blending families, and we really don't know where it's gonna end up. It's going to end up good or it's going to end up bad. But my thing it's is... Like a mixed drink. <laughs> it is like a mixed drink. You never know how it's going to turn out. My thing you is... touch it up every now and again. My thing to you is if this is someone you really, really like and not just dating, because that's where... If you're just dating them, you, we don't even need the question. But if it's somebody you really, really like and you really want to pursue a serious relationship with as far as for real, like moving together, raising your kids together, you're going to have to set the boundaries because it seems like you're the one stable with head on your shoulders and she's kind of like all over the place and I guess you have to really have to sit down with her and have a heart to heart that's I keep saying to all our viewers communication is key you telling us something that you may not have said to her she can't read your mind she really don't know how you feel and if you've said it you may have not said it openly like right you may have beat you may have beat around the bush to protect her feelings it's not about the feelings that we know you have to be careful about. What you say is not what you say, it's how you say it. Mm. But you have to tell her exactly how you feel. Yes. And if it's about the children, and I heard you say the part about um, you don't have the patience for little ones because you raised your own, I absolutely feel you on that because I've touched bases on that several times on um, on our questions to our viewers. However, me and Trey have found, found a happy balance. My mm. baby know what I will do at this point. My baby know what I won't do. My baby know my patience has got to here. My baby know when I'm just okay and I'm cool and I'm relaxed. So it's, it's going to take time. Lord knows it does not happen overnight. No. So first of all, the communication starts there. We're talking to her about 
if we're going to blend families, if we're going to make this work, we have to see eye to eye on a, on, a, on a several things when it comes to the children. Absolutely. And you have to really tell her how you feel. You can't beat around the bush. Just be open and honest with her. That's true. Yeah. There's not much else to say about that. That's absolutely true. You guys have to talk. Yeah. And if you're frustrated now, it's only going to get, get worse. worse. So it, it doesn't help you nor your partner nor the children to keep that stuff inside. You're really going to have to have some sit down conversation about how both of you, the adults, are going to get on the same page. Charles wants yes, to say, I just want to say this one one thing. What happened? The Lord may have sent you into this lady's life for a oh. reason because you did say she's not stable mm -hmm. and she's pretty much all over the place and you're the stable one. So you may be there for a reason. So think before you act. Okay. Mm -hmm. I done lost my train of thought. I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, seriously though, um, you guys just need to talk. And I, I guess what my baby and I figured out was as long as we're on the same page, it don't matter what the kids say or what they do. As long as we're on the same page, we turn the page. You're coming or you're going to get left behind. It's just, it's just as simple as that. You know, and um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Communication, communication, get on the same really page. Open and honest with her. Set some goals. And not saying, I mean, when you talk to Stella, you're not trying to hurt her feelings, but right. it's from your observations and what you see, how she's, I guess, her living her life with her kids. Absolutely, absolutely. And if this person is unstable, it's, it's going to take some hard work on your part. To mm -hmm. get them in the mentality or that in the mode your son in. that you know that there's some kind of structure mm -hmm. that you know you have goals short term and long. So what you you're probably going to have to do is help your partner um, come up with a list of short term term goals, not a long one. Yeah. Because a person who's unstable, they can't see this far. Baby steps. You know what I'm saying? First, the children, or first, getting themselves stable. Then the children, you know, and then you guys move on from there. Um, but again, it all starts with talking. Yeah, she's not, and you know you're not being selfish and self-centered. Nah, nah, you nah, just nah. to a point in your life where you, you've done a lot of what she's probably you're doing. With the she ain't never done that and you're to another level and you're not just talk, you're not going to tolerate it. But for you not to tolerate it, she needs to understand why. Absolutely. So you got to, you got to give her that much. So don't just kick her to the curb without giving her, um, reasons why you're getting to the edge before you drop off. Mm -hmm. So try to kind of bear with her if there's somebody you really, really like. Yeah. But if it's somebody you're dating, you might need to go ahead and remove yourself. But if it's somebody you really want a relationship with, it's a way you can make the families blend to make it work. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to our next question. Um, this person would like to be anonymous. Um, this individual <coughs> um, sent a question and it reads, I am a 45-year-old stud and I was with this woman for 11 years whom I never loved, but I cared for. I never cheated on her. We're not together, mm -hmm. but since I'm not in a relationship, mm -hmm. we would get back together off and on. You know, do a little something, something. That was my ad. That was your ad. I, I did. I stuck it right in there. That's what she said. That's exact good one. That's a good Ooh, one. Oh, yes. That's what she said. <laughs> the last two years of our relationship, we never had sex, even though we slept in the same bed. Ooh, Ooh that was boring. Yes. I can't do it. I'm tired of this and I'm ready to be in love. Aww. I've dated a few ladies. I'm so happy you said ladies and not girls. It drives me nuts when people yeah. say girls. I don't like to hit girls either. And have been in a relationship, but I've never been in love with a woman. I've it's heard it is a beautiful thing. But go ahead. That's what we're gonna do the dating show. But go ahead. Yes. I've heard all I've heard all the just be patients. Oh, okay. I'm forty five years old. And I've been with women since I was 15. Gosh, you got some experience. Me too, though. Oh, around 15. Just nasty, baby. 15 or 16. I'm just kidding. I think 16. 16. Really? We're going to go back right now? Yeah, right I'm trying to remember. We're going to go back right now? Right now? Go really? Um, I'm not attracted to big girls, although they are beautiful. Me neither. I have never dated a gay woman either. I. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Dear, 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 dear. Straight women. This 45 year old stud loves straight women, baby. And she loves them 45 and older. Oh. I'm scared gay women have too much drama. It sounds like a brother saying they don't date black sisters That's because they fair. got attitudes. You might fall in love with a lesbian, so don't say that. And straight women are less drama to me. No, they're not. They still sleep with men. That's. Keep Baby. Okay. Uh -huh. I just wish I could find that love and happiness <clears throat> Let me get that I could rush home to. 
I love you guys show. And I constantly pray for y'all strength and help. Thank you. Stay blessed. Please help me if you can. Thanks. Baby, you go on in. You know I'm getting ready to go. That's why I had to sit up. Baby, remember though. Just Okay, let me back up. I get too excited. Go scroll back down a little bit. I gotta scroll down. What is, okay, she's anonymous? Yes. And she's a 45-year-old stud. Right. I, I'm probably going to jump around here and there because I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up to the top. Let me check our time. First, how long do we have? Oh, we're doing good. I know. We're doing good. Okay. Good. You 45-year-old stud. First of all, <clears throat> thank you for liking our show. Thank you for sending your question in. We're so nice and sweet, but I'm getting ready to read you a little bit. She's going to read your ass. Okay. First and foremost, don't ever say you love straight old women. I'm scared of gay women. They have too much drama and straight women are less drama. Are you serious? Oh, you shit. got to be freaking kidding me. Wow. Straight women will give your ass a headache. That's probably why you haven't been in love yet. Mm. Because you're dealing with straight women and you're gay. You're a lesbian. Come on. Dick pussy, straight dick women pussy. ain't going to never leave a man ever mm. if they're straight and you're dating him. And you have to be careful when it comes to the safe sex portion of it because they're still sleeping with men who are, a lot of them are no good. So you have to be careful with that. Um, but I'm, that's just kind of sad though for you to say that lesbian women have too much drama because true enough, the world have a lot of drama. You can't single out just lesbian women. That's not fair to us and you are a lesbian yourself. So please don't do that. Take that one back. Um, and some of my viewers probably going to read you too from this one. But yeah, don't ever say less. we have a lot of drama because there are some lesbian women that are very professional, mature women that can handle themselves accordingly. So please don't do that. Um, Your legs look great, babe. Thank you, babe. I've been getting ready for my wedding. I look sexy. She's sitting here in the <clears throat> little, little shorts. I have yeah, my I boy shorts to my baby. Looks great. But babe, let me finish with 45-year-old stud. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go and ahead. please do not mention my name on your show. I wish you would have told me your name. Oh, you she know, would not. Have, my, I would have not have mentioned. I would not. I would not have done that. But no, you, you, you. Okay, you've been with women for eleven years. <laughs> you haven't been in love yet. But it's probably why you haven't been in love because you haven't found the right woman, which should be a lesbian because of heterosexual women gonna run, hang you on that string, and you're only gonna get so far because they're gonna want their men. So you kind of playing games with yourself at this time, and you're forty five, and you're getting older, not younger. So it's time for you to step up. And say, this is the deal. I'm going to date only straight women, which is boo to me. Or I'm going to date lesbian women and find me someone that's professional, mature, have class, is not drama, is drama free. But everybody going to have some drama. Drama free is possible. But come on. You can't do that. Baby, go back. I'm going back, baby. Um... The last two years of our relationship, we never had sex. That's, that's the person that they was with. That's the person she was with? Yeah. I've dated a few ladies and have been in a relationship. I've never been in love. Now, that's another problem. If you haven't been in love, you all in the wrong spot. And you probably approaching the wrong type. Huh, straight. But mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not happy about this. I've heard all just be patient, which is true. Well, they always say what you go looking for, you're going to find the wrong thing. So be patient enough to come to you. That's That's true. You can be 50 years old and finally find love and be madly in love. But I think you're looking in the wrong places because I don't know what straight woman, since you consider them straight, going to ever settle down with you and be madly in love with you because they still want men. So that's never going to happen. And that's probably why you've never been in love. So from me to you, if you're a 45-year-old stud, you might need to reevaluate what type of woman you really want. Because until then, you may be in and out of like for some more years. Oh, man, you ain't had to do that, though. Sorry. Listen here, little man. <laughs> Young man, I understand, okay? Because at one point earlier, not at 45, I'm 38. 38. When I first started, um, not when I first, but probably a few years after I started dating women. And a lot of y'all studs only do that because y'all want to see if y'all can get the straight women. Man, come on, baby. Can That's I tell why y'all do that, but go ahead. Catch it. Bam. <laughs> first of all, I understand. At this, so cute. <laughs> at this age... Nah, son, you can't do that, okay? I can understand if you were younger, because I did it when I was younger. I did. Yeah, you I, I only did. dated straight women yeah. because it, was, it wasn't because I was looking for love. It was the rush. It was the challenge. It was like, I know I can turn you. I see you eyesight eyeing me. You know what I'm saying? That was the whole gist of it. But I knew I, 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 I couldn't be with no straight women for a long term because... 
how can I be comfortable with the fact that you won't run back to the dickety stickety? You know, even though <laughs> I have, even though I have my plastic, I mean, how do I know you're not going to go back? <laughs> oh God! So in order yeah. for me to you have settle a lot down, to worry about things, straight women. I'm sorry. Not, you do. I mean, it's a lot of what if, what if, what yeah. if. I mean, do you want drawers? Do you want panties? What do you want? Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a lot. So at this age, son, chill. Stop going looking. Let it come to you for mm-hmm. real. And I would, I would agree with my baby. Leave them straight women alone. Yeah, because Correct. you're never gonna find love. Because they, they're the ones they gonna are. give you. They, they're said, gonna, you said drama. Okay. They're gonna give you. A, they, they're gonna give you a headache. And it's not. They probably won't give you a headache as far as caring about where you are. Nine to you know nine to five. It's gonna be more of. Well, where are you and tonight? Say, you're I, not I have me. never dated a gay woman. Wow, that's interesting. That's probably why you still haven't fa- fa- fallen in love mm-hmm. because you know you are a lesbian. And you will probably fall in love with a lesbian. Hello. Yeah. Open yeah. your heart. Open your mind. Open your eyes. Yeah. Maybe you need to be the first one on my dating show when we started. Hmm. Catch we'll see. it. We'll see. What? Bam. You said bam. Bam. Mm-hmm. Baby. <laughs> anyway. Um. Good luck, son. Good luck. And try dating a yeah, gay just woman. Step on your side. You. You. <laughs> come on over. Come on over to your side. Come on over to our side. You know Most you belong country. over here, so come on over. Try you might it. find love in the try matter it. of months. Try it, try it. Take it, take it, take yeah, it. Yeah, just try it. it. it just make sure she's older, it. you know, around your age, not no young kids. And, right. you know, she has substance about her stuff and she's going in the right direction. You know, you, you guys got to have to play, be on the even keel here. You need to find somebody that is what you're looking for in a straight woman, but she's a lesbian. Right. That's what you need. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so give it a try. Absolutely. And please respond and let us know what you thought. Yes, absolutely. And I'm going to go off on you again next time. So please respond. She probably will. So, but come on. Um, anyway, here's another one. We have another anonymous. You guys are shy this season. If you um, start dating again, you can't be shy because we're going to need a picture and name. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. And we're going to feature you on our Facebook if you care. Yeah. That would be great. That would. We'll feature them. Mm-hmm. And if it's a stud looking for a film, we'll, we'll collect all the film pictures and stuff. And we'll send it to the stud inbox so Absolutely. they can pick. Absolutely. And then we'll connect them together on our Facebook so everybody can see. And you guys can go from there and see Absolutely. how it works. You never know. Love it, TNT. You're right. Okay. Anonymous, please. I have started this message so many times, but I was nervous and afraid. But I just need some input slash advice. I'm a 32-year-old mother and wife. Did you hear that? This is a heterosexual woman. Maybe I was going to bust it out later. I'm sorry. Gosh. I'm sorry. I wanted them to focus. I'm sorry. I took it back. Okay. So just pretend that you didn't hear that. I am a 32-year-old mother and wife. Did you hear that? Ooh, ah. I love him very much. Him. Pronoun. Not a stud. But I am a woman, and it's becoming harder and harder, that's what she said, to hide these feelings and attraction. He treats me like a queen. And that's not to say we don't have any problems. But for the most part, he is a wonderful husband and father. Now, I have told him about me having an attraction for women. I just think he really understands. Yes, I have been with women and I talk to other women and I feel bad about that. But it's becoming a bit uncomfortable. Uncontrollable. Uncontrollable. Let my baby make up his own words when he go to drink. <clears throat> the we're cider, pre- baby. We're celebrating. No, we're cider. getting ready for this Hawaii trip. It's becoming you a bit uncontrollable, says this 32-year-old mother and wife. I love the way women look. Feel and smell. Um, I find myself watching other women while we're out. I don't, honey. I know you don't. I don't. We have all eyes for me. I do. I don't care. Trey, Trey Willie, he don't wonder. I'm I like, baby, isn't she cute? Trey mm-hmm. Willie, Trey Nothing don't for me. Trey don't look. As my sister, as my my um my sister Nina says, my baby got the swoosh. swoosh. It's the hula hoop, baby. You the know what right? It's a swoosh. swoosh. Uh, a swoosh. Really? That's what I got on train. She got this, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Hooked, baby. I'm comfortable. I'm okay with that. I am the fish, and I'm on her hook. That's right, baby. It's okay. I love it. Continuing for the 32 year mother and wife who is very, very naughty looking at other women while her husband understands. I love the way women look, feel, and smell. I find myself watching other women while we're out. 
ah, I don't want to hurt him, but I feel like I'm suffering for feeling's sake. For his feelings. Ah, I didn't see that word. And it's not fair to me or him. Help. Oh. And she put help in all caps. She did. <clears throat> oh, oh gosh, we're killing our time. We, we need to hurry up? No, go ahead. Oh, this is, this is important. Oh, yeah, this is. Mm -hmm. Because this is a heterosexual, 32-year-old mother and wife. Yes. She loves her husband very much, but oh, she's attracted to women. And she said her husband treats her like a queen. I promise you. Now, I I like her post, uh, in inbox, email, better than the one we just talked about, the stud that mm -hmm. said he only date, she only, he, she, whatever, only date straight women. Now, this lady is being upfront and honest about she's married. Wife, kids, husband, but she like women. Mm -hmm. I love it. And she's told her husband. So I like that. Very honest. Because I do believe there are bisexual women out there that are married. It's a lot of them. Have husbands, but love women. Now, do I think they will ever just be gay, lesbian? No. I, I, very few, I'll take that back. Very few turns out to be, leave, they leave their husband, they want to be with this woman for the rest of life, and mm -hmm. it happens. Right. But then there are some that they step out on side and they date the woman, but then they miss him what they had at home, mm -hmm. or they miss the man with, mm -hmm. with the real penis. Right. So, oh, I mean, God. it just really depends. She said penis. Hush, babe. But for, for I mean, she's kind of like torn at mm -hmm. this point. And I, I truly understand mm -hmm. because once upon a time, I was a bisexual woman, but mm -hmm. I think I was only bisexual because. I, back then we had to hide it. Right. So I had a boyfriend and a girlfriend, and I always still knew I weigh I swayed more to the lesbians than than the men. So for you, you have a husband, you have you have a kid, and you do love your husband. He treats you well, but you're out and you're looking at women because like with smell feel, and you've been with women. Smell feel. Did um, she you? I think you all, you you first of all, I gotta say this. I gotta be honest. You are wrong because you're married. So it's almost like you're cheating on your husband, mm. and that's not fair to him. No, especially that he treats you like a and queen. And he treats you like a queen. He's a good guy. I hope he doesn't beat you. Um, it's kind of hard because I don't know if you want to be a lesbian full time. Oh, and you that's just want to touch. Or you just want to keep stepping out there but mm -hmm. keep your husband. So you might need to send us another part to this question because I think I do need more answers from you. I do need to know if you're with your husband because you love him and y'all have a child together. And that's the only reason why you're still there. Or do you want to leave your husband because you want to be happy for yourself right. and date women only because that's what you're more attracted to. And that's a great, so, that's a, that's a great point, baby. Yeah, she do. She needs to send us another question so we can do a piggyback off this one because I guess I need some more questions in order to give her some more answers. Right. Because if you're torn, you got to weigh which one is, which one makes you more happy. And, and Lord knows it was easy for me because I knew women make me more happy. So it, it depends on if you're torn. But if you love your husband, you want to be with your husband, you just want to step out every now and then and do, do women. <clears throat> Ooh, you're cheating on your husband for one. Mm -hmm. You just said do. Man. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're cheating on your husband, and you know that's not right. Yeah. So you, you, I, I, Lord, I hate to bring up the word divorce because right. I know once you marry, you marry for the rest of your life. So, and she probably felt like this going into the marriage. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So I, I need some more questions. I need some more questions so I can answer answer her better. Like she need to help me out more, open up a little bit more to she us. She need to answer your questions. Answer my questions about okay. how long have you liked women? Mm -hmm. Does it come from your youth? Did this just start when you were older? Mm. So, yeah, I need more help on this one. So, please, please, please make sure you inbox us and respond to me. And Trey may have a question as well. So, what you think, babe? Yeah, I, it's, I can't say a lot right now. It's not. You can't really say a lot because you're right. You don't know if she wants the vagina yeah. or if or she you just wants to play both the penis or if you want both. Yeah. Um, if you want both, you might want to write T Pain and his wife because they do both. They do both, and they're open, and if and then he accept that. Mm -hmm. But see, you need to be open and honest with your husband, even though you I say you, you told your husband you like women. But is he story. open with you sleeping with these women? Right, right, right. Will he like to? Because join? there are plenty of women that I mean, there are plenty of couples that swing, mm -hmm. and I mean, I don't care about you swinging. That's your preference, mm -hmm. but make sure your other half is okay with that. And I only swing on one thing, and it's that toy that's in the park. Yes, that's it. A swing in the oh, park. Swing. Oh, swing. Yes. Okay. I'm not yeah, swinging anywhere else. Swing I'm not swinging the park. I'm not either. Please do not email us. Ask me if we want to swing. We uh -uh. don't do that. Uh -uh. Okay? I don't share the twist. Yeah, we don't swing. But no, if you guys, if you want to get into swinging, you might need to have a conversation with your husband. Because it, it may make her happy that he allow her to do that. Mm -hmm. Then she won't be confused and torn. Right. And you may try it out. You may not just look. 
and go, mm, that's not for me, not a good taste. But don't be cheating on your husband, and he's being so good and faithful yeah, to you, so that's not fair to him. Good. That's not right, not at all. But then she, I don't want her to be left in a in a relationship where she's uncomfortable either, like, oh, I know I really want to be a woman, but I'm home with my husband because I love him, we have a kid. Again, she didn't, she didn't clarify, she didn't say whether or not she wanted to be out of the relationship. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, yeah, you so, got to help us out, Anonymous. Help us out a little bit. With, do you with, feel that you're a lesbian? Yeah, are you lesbian? Do you feel like you're heterosexual and you just like to step out from time to time? Right. I mean, help us out a little bit more with, with what you're saying here. Absolutely. Because, um, yeah, I can definitely talk about that quite a bit. Yeah, you need to let us know. But you got to be you got to be right with your husband, so. Right. That's true. That's true. That comes first before anything. Yeah. Take care of home yeah. before anything. Because there are a lot of celebrities and people normally that just swing and they all know it. Yeah, but just mm-hmm. don't leave him out, you know, hanging. Swinging, swinging. Yeah, not for us. But anyway, uh, once again, guys, wow, that was fantastic, and that went by fast. I'm not sure if the cider um, that you're not drinking cider. Just, I would. We really can do a commercial for that. What you're drinking, but we're not going to say their name again. <laughs> you are getting ready to become Mrs. Good, and there's some things that's going to change. The first thing is you follow my lead woman. Follow. The lead. <laughs> Didn't that sound good? I strong? submit, guys. Trust me, I broke yes, down a lot and I submit does. more to my baby. I step back and let my baby take the lead. I do. <clears throat> but you know how to still treat me like a queen. Always. She's you don't just try to be so overly strong. arrogant and cocky. You, you're not that type. So, guys, don't get it twisted. Not over. Trey's not over. I but he knows how to take that. care of me. I don't need to be the center of attention. I don't no. need to be over. I'm no. good. My baby takes great care of me. Very comfortable in my skin. I'm so good. Uh, but anyway, wow. Well, so cute. I am. Am I sexy? Very. You want to do me, don't you? Always. She's so nasty. <laughs> so I can be nasty with mine. But anyway, guys, I'm so happy we got a tape in. We and did before we leave. Yes, our big event, the 23rd. Yeah, the, how many days we leave? Seven. No, babe. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Five days. Five. I didn't count. Then yeah, we live in five Even days. Mm-hmm. Five days we are gone. Excited. Very, very excited. My baby and I will be heading. And big shouts out to um, Hakina and Jakari who will be joining us in Hawaii. Most definitely. Our very good friends are coming. Um, they're going to make the trip. They're going to be in our wedding. And we're very excited. Big shouts going out to my brothers who threw a wonderful bachelor party. I had a blast. Kept it clean, kept it cute, yeah. kept it very dignified. And that's what I wanted. I had a great time. So thank you all for that. And thank you to my ladies for throwing my party and making sure I had a very good time, which I did. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it just makes it just lets me know that I'm getting close and close to my big day to yeah. marry the person that I Fell in love with a long time ago, and the Lord mm. sent me my dream. Yeah, man. It's sinking in. We just did invitations tonight. Yeah, we worked on Mailing invitations out. tonight. So mm-hmm. some will get mailed out before we leave. Cause yeah. we put it from, I want my out-of-towners to get the invitations first. Right, right. So we mail those out on this week before we wow. leave. Mm. It's crazy, baby. It's like coming up, man. Yeah. You know, we watch shows all the time, and we hear people talk, and they're always talking about how they're nervous and you know, it should ooh, never be cold feet and all that. I haven't been nervous at all. Mm-mm, now I, I'm sure I'll get the bubble guts <laughs> on the 23rd. <laughs> I might have to lay a few bricks a few times, but that's okay. I'm oh, not scared God. though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm you're not excited. supposed to be scared when you marry the love of your life. Man, I'm so excited. It's, it's sick, and I can't talk to somebody without. Hey, guess what? You remember I'm getting married on the 23rd. I know, ooh, baby, right? You know, so because really, people do actually be like, you nervous? Yeah, I'm like, I'm nervous? Man. No, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready excited. I wish I was going like last I'm year. I'm ready to put that gown on and walk down that aisle to that baby on man. the beach front. See, when I put this joint right here on my hand, y'all probably can't see. That's it not your hand. That's your arm. My arm. It's my hand. My arm. It's right your there. Arm. Can y'all see that? It that's says, a Tonya. Tonya. You know what that's I'm saying? your only tattoo. It's my only tattoo. Only, Tell only. Them, baby. And I got this, what? What is it? Four? Six months after six. we started dating. See, I probably should have got it on the third week. <clears throat> but I got it six months after we started dating. First tattoo. You know what I'm saying? I knew this was for life. I'm not playing about it. Tell no matter. Baby. For real. And I have Trey on my hip. She do. I come right there on the hip bone. Boom. Staying there. Crutch. And we're going to get Loveology tattooed on my steps. We're yep. going to get that when we come back from Hawaii. Doesn't mean y'all names are getting on us. Just <laughs> TNT Lavology. Yeah, we're going to get Lavology. But anyway, guys, um, some of you have emailed and um, asked us for our registry and all that. And we try to post it every now and again. Um, we have one that's in Hawaii. And I'm going to post it again on our website. And we're also registered to Bed, Bed Bath, Bath, Bath and Beyond. And our registry number is 6170173. 
That is 610-617-0173. Okay. Been drinking, but that's it. Cider. It's very acidy. It's keeping my eyesight. Uh, but anyway, that's what it is. That's how we do it. TNT Lobology. You know it, man. What? I love this baby forever and always. I love this always. baby forever and that ever never and change. always. That you will never saying? change. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Forever. Forever. And always. Mwah. TNT Lobology. This is how we do it. Season 4, Episode 3. You guys be safe. Be kind. Be loving. Find true love. Be loving. Be loving. Get some loving. Be honest. Get you some. Be genuine. Get you some. And everything that's meant for you will come to you. And get you some. And get you some. Get you some. We're going to get a lot of Hawaii. Peace. Yes, we are.